it's just not home, you know. Uh, it's a beautiful apartment, they're really nice, but it's not home. And I'm stuck in here all day long with no way. Separated by about a mile, Audrey Bonnell and Shirley Irwin live alone and have missed what they had a little more than two years ago, a place to live, love, and share as best friends. The two women were among the 52 seniors and people with disabilities who lived in Alpen House apartments before a lightning strike sparked a fire on July 22, 2009. Everyone made it out alive, but the complex was destroyed, taking with it the bond they once shared. To eat off. Now, the women are packing up their boxes. Because the ashes have rose, Alpen House is rebuilt. Today, the two women got their first glance of where they'll soon once again call home sweet home. Look at the kitchen, Shirley. Oh my goodness. You can walk in and hide, play hide. <laughs> home. These are yeah. really, really neat. Home. We're going to be home. Yep. Contractors are finishing up the punch list, hoping to get the apartments opened in a month from now. We've all hung on to hope that we were coming back. A perfect Christmas present that might be coming a little late, but better late than never. But here, it's home with my friends, with, you know, and the things that we do together is like you have your family. In fact, 29 of the residents will be moving back. Deborah Smith is the manager of Alpen House. She goes by mom and calls the tenants kids. And she says, there's just something about this place. I love every one of them in here, even the grumpy old farts that, whoops. <laughs> They're an awesome bunch of people. And I've missed every minute. A little more than two and a half years later after that fire destroyed so much, those residents will be coming back home. And they say the first thing they're going to do is break this place in by having a party to thank everybody that came together to bring back home. In Gaylord, I'm Andrew Keller, 7 and 4 News.